I got started about nine years ago, going on 10 uh, with a hot dog cart. My mom pitched me the idea and I didn't think it would work because it was in a rural town. And uh, she insisted, no, it's gonna work, it'll work. So I did some research on it and ended up buying one. I uh, had to order it and it takes a little while to, to come in. And during that time, uh, she ended up getting a kidney transplant and passing away. Uh, so when the hot dog cart came in, you know, I thought this is her idea and she's not here. So I knew I was gonna uh, do this and not fail at it. So I pretty much started up because of her. Um, for two years, I hustled hot dogs, did everything I could, took every job I got. And I started Boss Dogs Barbecue Catering, which my catering business today is booked for the rest of the year. It's just been nonstop busy. And I couldn't be more blessed with that. But uh, that, all that helped me fund my food truck. And uh, me and a friend of mine bought the truck and uh, it wasn't a food truck. We just built it from the wheels up. And uh, I didn't know anything about building a food truck. He didn't either, but we did it. I was pretty proud of myself to be able to uh, sell hot dogs enough to fund a food truck. And uh, after it was done, uh, the health department came and signed off on it. And I looked at it and I thought, I went from a hot dog cart to a restaurant on wheels by just selling hot dogs. And that's just what my mom taught me to never like give up. Boss Dogs hot dog cart to a food truck. Um, being in brick and mortar is not out of the question. Uh, Boss Dogs does have a bright future. Big things are gonna come. And I just can't wait to share it with everybody because the community has been phenomenal, the support I've got. Um, every time I've opened that window up since I bought this for three years consecutive, I've sold out every single time. They started out at 20, 30, waiting in line before the window opened. A few months back, it got to be 100 people outside in line just to eat something that I cook, you know, and it's mind blowing for me, but I would love to give back to the community because they, they show me support. And I'm just a guy with the food truck who sets up in his front yard. The Boss Dogs uh, Facebook page, I started it a couple of years ago, I think. That's where we will post where we're open and locations and stuff. And if you're trying to book a party, uh, some kind of catering or something, my information's on that page where you can contact me. It's, it's comfort food and that's what I have right on the side of the truck. Um, it's food that I like and I knew if I wanted to open business, I was gonna do a burger truck. And that's what I like is burgers, but um, I have some ideas about bringing some healthier items. You know, I know some people's asked about uh, turkey burgers and stuff like that. Not a problem. If that's what the people want, I'll cook it. Try to open up once a week, twice a week is what the plan was. We don't like to burn nobody out. And I try to put different things on the menu so you're waiting for it, you know? It seems to work. Um, but we usually sit up here in Stillwell, right here on uh, my, at my house in the front yard. It's on the main street. Um, we do set up at different locations. Uh, businesses ask us to come out and set up. We will do that. But mainly we just sit up here at my, in my house in the evening for dinner. And uh, it seems to work, you know, it's the right time for people right off the street. And my family who helps me in the food truck, they are uh, boss dogs because without them, I couldn't manage this whole thing by myself with the volume we put out. And uh, they, they show up for me every single time. So without my family, I'm nothing. You know, so we're all boss dogs. My whole family's boss dogs. And uh, we just want to keep on um, cooking and doing more for the community because they've been showing me so much support.